This clip was uploaded by Jose Maria, who supposedly loves to go on hikes and caving adventures with a friend of his. This night they were just on their way home from another caving trip. So while this was not technically captured inside the cave, it was still in pretty close vicinity to the cave. The area around is said to be haunted since the dawn of time and the young man's helm camera might have captured a glimpse of that. Whatever they captured here seems to be of pretty small statue and was perhaps wearing a black dress. Pretty strange, isn't it? Also, something seems to be wrong with this thing's face and it does look like straight out of a nightmare. They have no explanation of what that could have been other than one of the lost souls which are said to roam this area. Perhaps... The following video was captured by a tourist who was on an exciting trip through Europe. On the following day, he was preparing to visit an ancient cave in Hallstatt, Austria. He states that the cave is hundreds of millions of years old and that it lies 10,000 feet above the sea level. And it all started out as a beautiful venture, lots of ancient glaciers and rock formations. However, a few hours into his expedition, he noticed something strange, seemingly crawling on the ceiling. A pale figure can be seen, climbing on the ceiling without any safety features. The man believes that he might have either captured a cryptid or another mysterious creature here. Could that be so? If not, what else could it be? Maybe a ghost? Some commenters state that this could actually be a cave spirit. Let me hear what you guys think. The next video was shared by Jack, who states that he and his girlfriend were out that night on their way to the Blue Ghost Tunnel. To follow up on some research they found on the internet, they came across something pretty inexplicable in their minds. Important to note, they state that they did not bring any flashlights at the time of their initial recordings and only came back with one after exiting the cave and running into a couple that actually had brought one way later. Let's take a look. Whoa. I can hear your footsteps. I just seen a light at the end of the tunnel. What the f Hello? What the f was that? A mysterious light was seen right at the end of the tunnel. Given that nobody had a flashlight, it made them wonder what could have been the cause for that. Also, the cries for help were only discovered after the couple had returned home. 
Was it cries from the afterlife? In 1888, 30 people lost their lives right in front of the tunnel when a train crashed after the conductor had jumped off and left the machine, as well as several more fatal accidents that had taken place around the cave. Could this all be the reason for the residual energy that might have been captured on tape here? Who can say? The next video was featured by Sergeant Peppers, who states that he as well was out this night with two of his friends. They love venturing to abandoned tunnel systems, caves and catacombs all over Canada. In this video they were following a local urban legend about an abandoned catacomb system, which leads into a giant cave, and while doing some recordings in there, they lost track of one of their friends. Of course, this made them a bit uneasy, and it is said that what's to follow was the first documented paranormal encounter. Matt? Stop playing around, man. Matt! This place is freaking us out. They came across a faceless person, pale and dressed in a white cloth. Many commenters speculate that this could perhaps be a former patient who lost their life in this tunnel system. Who knows what these old catacombs were used for back in the day. In the end we can all just speculate what exactly took place down here. The next video was captured by a couple of tourists who were visiting a catacomb system close to a cave in Santa Rosalia, Italy, a place where many honor St. Rosalia and pray for their family members that they have lost. The group steps into an altar area where they notice a strange woman dressed all in black that all of a sudden disappears out of sight. It is not exactly clear what had transpired in here and why the woman mysteriously disappeared and then reappeared on top of a rock looking at the group. Some say that she even is wearing a strange veil or perhaps a black cloth on her head. Could this be a spirit even? Some comments say this was the case, but of course that's impossible for us to judge. But whatever the answer, it's quite creepy for sure. This video was captured by the Highway 9 who shared it after going on a hiking trip and stumbling across an open cave that he wanted to investigate with his shepherd dog. It didn't take long until the man made it quite deep into these tunnel systems and then strangeness unfolded. Come on. 
another faceless figure can be seen, standing in the distance, seemingly looking at the man. It's wearing a black robe of some sorts, and is potentially pretty tall. No facial features whatsoever can be made out. Quite remarkable that all these entities across the world have a similar look to them, don't you think? Perhaps proof that there is in fact more mysterious stuff going on in some of these tunnels than one could expect. I am sure that some of you have heard about Frank the Caber and his channel exploring abandoned mines in unusual places. He's quite famous for his ghostly encounter in the Horton Mine. And it all started with him exploring this old ore mine, when all of a sudden some ghostly activity unfolded. I don't know why that one chain is swinging back there. Don't know if you can see that in the video or not. Yeah, this mine definitely has a very spooky vibe to it. So I'm gonna head back out and check out the other stuff that's here. This is just too wet, too muddy. Um, and obviously something is making the chains uh, swing, so. Chains that were moving completely on their own. It made Frank uneasy and he wanted to find out more about this mysterious cave. So he returned a few weeks later and after another tour through the abandoned cave, captured some more inexplicable stuff. There's the uh, ore pass with all the cascading water and um, what the f is that? The footage had been analyzed and nobody could come up with an explanation of what happened there that day. And Frank swears that he never faked anything and even the experts think that nobody had tampered with the material. But it was not the only cave where Frank could capture terrifying sounds. One evening he checked out another abandoned mine in Nevada, where many believe he came across some ghostly voices from beyond the grave. Almost a foot in diameter the big cross timber so they had to put big ones in here to hold up all of this rock you can see right here where, where some of these boards are bending do you hear that sounds like uh what is that wind can you i don't know if you can hear that on the camera Do you hear that? It stopped. Well, I don't know what that is. That doesn't sound like wind, but that's crazy. Don't know if that's a bird or I don't know what that is. It almost sounds like snakes, but isn't that simply terrifying? Even more impressive is what he could come up with in the Black Widow mine. Okay, I came across this noose here in the intersection in the mine. Tunnel going that way and that way. And then here's the noose tied to a beam way up there. Are we getting a glimpse of an unidentified creature, person? or entity watching Frank. This footage also never has been fully explained, but his fans are sure that something was lurking at our brave explorer here, and then vanishing into the pitch black cave tunnels. This video is quite strange, or tragic. It was captured by a father, who was out on a family trip. He was recording that day to create a nice video diary. The area this footage was filmed in was notorious for people that have gone missing. And not too long ago, two sisters had disappeared, very close to the cave the man was just about to enter. And he might have come across something inexplicable.
¿De qué? Pau, no vayas ahí. Porque ahí hay muchos peligros de niños. A mí no me digas eso, que yo me cago también. Pau, Pau, ¿no? ¡Uy! Cállate, cállate. Ah, pues no está, está guapa. Ah, uy, que me caigo. Hostia. ¿Qué pasa, Nola? ¿Dónde vas? ¿Qué? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Pasa algo? Ah, ya no me asustes. Hostia, pues esto está profundo, ¿eh? ¿Qué pienses tú? ¡Cállate! <risa> bueno, Pau, no hay nada, no hay nada. No I'm not saying that something paranormal is going on, but many people do believe that the man did in fact capture the image of two girls here. The question is, what were those two girls doing there? Is there a chance that we could be seeing something from another world? Or was it just two family members playing a prank on him? Quite eerie if we keep the disappearances in the back of our head though. Hmm. This is another cave recording, which was captured on a trip that a group of friends undertook many years ago. Local legends are speaking of strange specters and apparitions that can be seen in there. But unfortunately, the group was unlucky. At least that's what they thought at first. After analyzing the footage, they noticed that there was an eerie figure. Some do claim to see a woman in a dress, possibly a spirit from another time. Does this sound plausible? Of course the bad quality due to the age of the footage doesn't really help answering that question for us. But it does make one wonder, did nobody notice that thing at the time? Really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> 